Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Oxygen Not Included here in the Ultimate Base 4.0. In the previous episode we took care of building and equipping a Draco and Paku Ranch. Currently we have two Paku Fries in here and I gotta make sure somebody is stocking the fish feeder. And now that we have some algae in here, the fish should be eating it and over time we can tame them this way, which is gonna make their reproduction rate just go through the roof. Looks like we are being disturbed by another meteor shower and I think also we just cheered the Draco here for the first time. This will actually give us reed fiber and of course the Dracos grow their scales in hydrogen. However, they also need something to eat and meal lice is gonna increase their chance of getting glossy dracolid eggs. So now I'm just waiting for one more egg. Oh, looks like we are bringing the fishes over here. Ah, the fish traps are being reused. That is actually really interesting. I figured they would be a one-time use, but you can rearm them all the time and therefore bring new fish in the joint. Now, I really don't want these old fish. I just want to start with new fish. And so what I much rather see is three of these young Paku Fry and they will be growing up to be tamed. In the meantime, I think it's time to clean up the space here a little bit. I can already feel the impact of all the critters bouncing about. And this probably also means we can now get rid of a little bit of the farms. I'm just going to do it step by step in order to make sure we are not dying. But of course, once the Paku farm is running, this should be the sole provider for my kilocalories inside the worker base. Oh, well, you look at that. We already have a little bit of steam here with the Thermo Aqua Tuner. So soon enough, we're going to be producing a little bit of power, just utilizing the system with its intended purpose. Okay, now we actually have a little bit of a better idea how far we can push up the hydrogen here. And I think once this is full, it's going to be pushed up one more layer and therefore we might just succeed pushing the oxygen far enough. We currently have 1,500 grams of pressure here and 2,000 on the top. So we will have to possibly introduce some more oxygen. Either way, in today's episode, I would like to tame a volcano. And I think I'm going to do the easiest one right here. We already kind of tamed it, but it is still dependent on our cooling system, which is a limited cooling system. Eventually, everything is going to overheat. And since we have the materials for maybe one more steam engine, I figured we could just go ahead and tame this this cold volcano for good. The next dormancy is going to be in 52 cycles so that is not really an option and then the volcano right here let me see next dormancy in 23 cycles yeah if I want to do it in today's episode we're gonna have to work with a erupting volcano but maybe that is just gonna make it a little bit spicier. Okay we're approaching the 1000 kilograms mark we should be able to push this one layer up here even though the liquid vent is now over pressuring but it is every now and then still gonna allow a packet in and therefore we're pushing this one more level up. Uh, actually it didn't do it the way I anticipated so I'm gonna move the vent a little bit yeah this is much better I'm gonna allow this to fill up to let's say 500 kilograms or so but we're basically already there so we know the hydrogen isn't pushed up far enough and therefore I'm gonna reconnect this pipe in order to allow some more oxygen in and now we just gotta observe it as soon as the oxygen is able to push up here we have achieved our goal uh, okay I don't trust this this is the problem let me go ahead and cut this pipe again and my suspicion is if we open up a bunch of these blocks here then the oxygen isn't gonna have troubles going through yeah yeah there we go oh, oh it's being pushed up isn't it not really thinking about it these could just be airflow tasks you know then we shouldn't run into this issue anymore come on guys you can do it i believe in you we have high pressure here at the bottom oh oh yeah it's working it's gonna be fine we now have enough water in this layer so that i can go ahead and deconstruct this again i can still see the oxygen pushing up a little bit so i have to wait gas distribution is always a little bit of a thing they don't like to mix but i can definitely see this is making some progress Okay, let's think about our uh, project here with the gold volcano. The gold volcano itself should basically be inside the steam room. How cold or hot is it in here? Hmm. Yeah, we kind of have to make sure the steam engine doesn't overheat above the 100 degrees. We could still accomplish that with our current cooling loop. That might actually be the easiest thing to do. Yeah, let me go ahead and try something. I'm gonna cut off the loop maybe right here. Whoop, didn't mean to do that. Let's connect these together like so and then cut off this path. I then want to make sure we deconstruct the auto sweeper and everything here rather quickly. Yeah, all of that cable needs to go. Um, I'm gonna 
bring this in another way and then possibly all of this needs to go all of the rails need to go as well oh man there's so much stuff to take apart while the volcano is running maybe that is a really bad idea another idle volcano here this one is also just idle yeah all of the volcanoes are active at the moment even the aluminium volcano how disappointing so I think I'm just going to risk it. We just need to plan it out properly. We're going to go with ceramic. Gold is actually not that crazy of a material to cool down. Let's say we're going to encase it like so. We need the space for an auto sweeper to pick up the materials and also a conveyor loader. Both of these, of course, need to be built with steel so it can withstand the heat of the steam. I think what I'm going to do is set up the auto sweeper here, just centered above the volcano and then also made out of steel a conveyor loader, maybe at this point. We're then going to have our rails going out here. You also need to be a little bit careful because this tile right here is going to be overheated to the temperature of the volcano. Just the centerpiece right here. I'm going to try to avoid it altogether, so lead no rails through it, except maybe we could make one out of steel, which has a melting point of 2400 degrees but if we check the volcano it's coming out at 3400 so it still can potentially melt this if i'm unlucky usually it would instantly turn into material that i can pick up but we're not always lucky right on top of here i would have my ceiling and let me see we want to keep it small but still leave enough space so let's say two four six seven and right here i would be making the edge okay my dupes are coming along taking things apart now i want to make sure to grab all of these materials get them away from the next eruption then i can finish this and that we can still go in here for now hmm i'm not sure this doesn't look big enough i'm gonna make it a little bit bigger but first let me maybe put the steam engine on top steam engine has an overheat temperature of 2000 degrees or so but actually at 100 degrees it doesn't function properly anymore and i'm gonna put it centered over the volcano or we could put it centered into the steam room yeah you know let's keep the footprint small for the gold volcano it doesn't really need that much power to cool down and that means I can now lead my rails all around the room in order to start cooling it down with the steam temperature. The only thing I want to avoid is this tile right here and we're just going to do that with a normal bridge. So avoiding this tile here altogether, and then we would be going up and maybe somewhere we actually have to check the temperature of the material and decide if it's already cool enough. Another strategy I'm actually interested in is just lead it through the room once and then assume it's been cooled down to a certain temperature so that we can go and use the secondary technique to bring it down to maybe 50 degrees. So it's going through the room once and then going outside automatically into a different cooling system. Let's say that different cooling system would happen right here. We utilize the entire height of the contraption to cool things down and these would be aluminium tiles maybe we can already place some let's say two tiles here three even and then another two there no we cannot make it inside the room now i'm then also already gonna build the water output of the steam engine and put a chute right there this is also the chute that we're gonna use in order to add the initial water now we're probably not gonna be able to re-enter this room so maybe we should think about every possibility of failure for instance we could set up a cheap gas pipe right here this would allow us to reset the contraption and pump out all of the gases and this basically can go straight up and over into a gas vent and I'm even gonna steer this with a little bit of automation well maybe just a signal switch have that right here connected to the pump as a matter of fact I think I'm gonna bring the pump one up yeah something like this I like that and then of course we also need to power everything this is gonna be done with the heavy watt conductive wires so all of that needs to be powered up and we need to think about an exit strategy I think in the future what I would like to see is maybe one power cable going up and down here on the side so that would be a good opportunity to maybe set up a heavy watt conductive trunk plate here oh can i not do that ah my signal switch is in the way so i'm gonna put the switch here on the bottom and this would allow me to set up the trunk plate right no what there's nothing in the way now uh let me ah ah okay <laughs> editing nathan oh, I'm, I'm not even gonna ask so now in the future i can probably bring this right up here and over and then connect that okay that also means i don't necessarily want this to be a metal tile but this should then just go over here the insulated layer but that would mean we only really have four metal tiles in order to cool down the rest i think it is possible i did it with just a couple of tiles here as well yeah it's like five tiles but it definitely is 
mostly enough, especially if we first cool it down with the steam engine and then afterwards cool it down with the aluminium tiles. So now all of this needs to be built extremely quickly, but even more importantly, people need to pick up the stuff on the floor. But Meep should be taking care of that. Look at that plastic. It actually happened. Nice. I take that for sure. I know I'm using it way too often, but I just love the priority nine command. It just makes all duplicates focus on the task on hand. Of course, only the building duplicates really and the ones picking up the materials. But as you can see, we are erupting in 0.2 cycles and I was capable of getting all the stuff out in time. Now, I actually wonder what is going to happen. Yeah, we'll have to build these rails a little bit weird. Like this is not going to go well. Oh my gosh, I did not think about the ramifications. How about we add a little bottle emptier here? Maybe open up this insulated tile. Yeah, this is now going to spread and actually melt some of my rails possibly uh wait that's not okay i have an idea uh no it's too far away oh jeez, i was not uh properly thinking this through come on build that bottle emptier for me and uh, maybe yeah we're gonna overheat so crazy bottle emptier i need liquid bring me water as quickly as possible we all knew this was gonna be a crazy project here we go this should uh, almost instantly turn into a little bit of steam at least but it might also help us to keep things cool to keep the steam turbine cool, we're gonna bring our cooling loop here over. And then I think we can just do something like that. Get into a radiator panel, then go out here again and move back over there in order to then cool down the metal task for the second cooling phase. So we just go through all of these like so yeah it seems to be fine and then we can join up with the loop again add some bridges here and there and then of course where's the panel conduction panel that's what it's called i'm also gonna build that out of aluminium just because Okay, nice. Ren is now building all of the rails, which is fantastic. And I think if I ever wanted to do the maintenance, then I would be coming down here. So maybe I'm just going to keep a little ladder in place. And if I ever need to do maintenance, I can open this up. Also, honestly, I really would like to see some drywall here since this is going to be a completed build and I'm kind of a sucker for backgrounds. How about the aquatic mosaic? That could be a thing here, but let me see the melting point. It's 668 degrees, so we definitely should avoid the tiles here that we cannot see anyways. That means the center tile and the tile at the bottom I'm not going to do, but the rest I'm going to do. And then hopefully maybe this is going to look just right. Yeah, check this out. Gold just is so weak. It is really so weak. One steam turbine is way too much for this. We're probably going to barely produce any power with it. But you know, it's good to know that we're going to have infinite gold just from this very small and almost independent contraption. Of course, at some point we have to entertain this cooling loop, which is not really entertained. Uh, right now we just recycle the cold water we have going on. But eventually this is going to be taken over by a cooling system as well. And right now you can see the gold is almost immediately cooling down. It's going to be a piece of cake and we can just replicate this for the other gold volcanoes. And potentially even other weak volcanoes. I have to see. Some volcanoes actually require two steam turbines. Let me know. Is the cobalt one one of the dangerous ones? I do know the aluminium volcano is probably going to require two. Colony achievement. What is it this time? Have duplicants travel 10,000 meters by travel? Wow, that is absolutely insane, considering we only travel like 5 meters at a time. <laughs> But yeah, I take that achievement as well. Good, looks like we're done with everything. This also has the power. We can potentially close this off. Uh, let me see. There's still some debris just hanging about, but we can actually make it exit through the conveyor here. So that means I'm going to close this off and finish it. We also have the system built. That means we can connect these two tubes again and then cut this. Wait, how is this? What? what? Ah, it is supposed to be coming in from the bottom ah i see okay i built this the wrong way i rather have this come in from the top honestly so just ignore the weird construction i'm making right now this is gonna change again but basically the bottom one is now gonna go up go through the loop and then go down and then we can just do that again in order to turn up with our system but i'm gonna switch that once we switch the cooling loop 
In the meantime, though, I'm going to close this and get rid of that. Actually, let's just disallow manual use. And I'm also going to activate the conveyor loader just all. And yeah, that's good. I'm also going to activate the pump so we can get this to be a vacuum, which should not take very long. And yeah, now I'm just missing a dumping ground for my items, which I'm going to do probably here for the time being. And then once we have a vacuum here, we just need to make sure to add enough steam, aka water. You have to imagine this is already 200 kilograms of water here which is gonna be divided by four in order to fill up all of the tiles with steam so if we leave it at that it's already 50 kilograms of steam in this room which might be enough and now my items are just going through the cooling loop nice and of course these tiles here are actively being cooled and therefore all of these items should come out at the 40 degrees or so there goes the oxygen at just a couple of micrograms i think we can do it even before the next eruption yet yeah, 70 seconds away come on i believe in you Oh, it's gonna be quicker. We are at 20 micrograms. I think at 5 micrograms everything disappears. There it is. Uh, 5 micrograms. Go away. Uh, no, no, no. The volcano won. It technically happened at the same time, you could argue. But yeah, now you can see the auto sweeper is picking things up immediately, which is not necessarily what I want to happen in the beginning. You see, right now, there's nothing cooling down the auto sweeper except for the steam that I want to produce. So until we actually have the steam, my suggestion would be to disconnect the auto sweeper. And oh, look at that. It actually, whoa, that actually went much quicker than I anticipated. Uh, woo! Wait, wait, you have to stop. Of course, I started to pump out the hot steam. That didn't make any sense whatsoever. But now that we actually have the steam, we can just reconnect this and get the auto sweeper to work. And therefore it should auto... Uh, what did I do? Ah, I see. My bridge melted. Now that is slightly disappointing and I'm gonna try it with steel this time around. So we just have to get back in there in order to build it. To do that we open up the insulated tile and I can just use the gas pump again. Okay, I got my rail reinstalled. Now the thing is, as long as we don't have any steam in here, the rail is gonna overheat. So we need at least a little bit of steam before this is actually secure. This is actually an interesting situation. I was so sure that I could avoid this with the bridge. So I'm gonna put a temp shift plate right Right here and then with the first eruption this is gonna melt and not melt the conveyor rail also we get some more water in the joint that is so interesting even though this is technically an empty tub there's no oxygen going through and i have absolutely no idea how this is possible just one gap wide areas are very weak when it comes to oxygen distribution and now it broke through and of course it filled the room up again jeez unreachable toilet what the heck joshua Ah, wait, is this gonna... What? Uh, what's the problem? You cannot get inside the base? Is there an issue with the base? Other than the rotting corpse, I mean. Why the heck are you eating here? That doesn't make sense, Joshua. Okay, why was this unreachable? Maybe I have too many exosuits. No idea. I have no time for this right now. Okay, looks like we got the joint plate in there. Actually, as a matter of fact, it already melted. So never mind. Let me check that rail here. Conveyor rail steel. How hot are you currently? 200, uh, 300, 600, 500. Yeah, it, we're just gonna overheat. Heat. So I really got to make sure with the next eruption we get the steam. I really thought this is going to be uh, much easier. Jeez. You know, we even have to make sure the steam turbine isn't doing anything right now. I'm going to add a little bit more of the oxygen here to push this up. It really needs to go beyond the mealwood there and then cut it again, allow it to distribute and check back later. Okay, how is it going here? Still gases. Next eruption in 0.7 cycles. That's good. We can probably then shut off the pump there. And then we just need a tiny flash of steam in order to not allow this conveyor rail to break. Checking out my Paku, they are still hungry and that is something I don't get. I've had this happen to me multiple times, so I think I'm gonna reset that, just get rid of everything and then not gulpfish. Wait, let me do the Paku and give them algae. Okay, I reinitiated it and they still don't seem to be eating. Look at that, it's right there. Algae, fresh algae for you. Ooh. Put, put, put. Okay, don't have time for this. Let's get back to the volcano. Erupting in 0.2 cycles. 
Now, just allow this to work. That would be absolutely amazing. I would love it. There it is, raising pressure. I'm going to remove the gold that is already cooled down. Yeah, this can just go ahead and leave. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. Uh-huh. Steam, steam, steam. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I don't even want to know. It's at 1,700 degrees. 900, 2,000. No, it's going to overheat. Come on, give me steam. Give me a little bit of steam. Yeah, okay. We did did we? Did we do it? We did it. Look at that. Look at that. It's back at 247 degrees. Oh my gosh. Oh, this was so close. It almost melted. It was like 100 degrees away from melting. Now we just got to make sure that the steam actually remains in here. But it is probably going to cool down because of the water that is still here. So maybe we're not in the clear yet. As soon as this doesn't cool down anymore, I'm going to pick it up again. And then we'll see with the next eruption probably. But yeah, once this is working, I think I'm just going to wait for the next dormancy of this cold volcano so that we can do the very same thing we can still use the same cooling loops the cooling loops are gonna be dramatically less stressed because it's just responsible to cool down the steam turbine instead of the entirety of the volcano uh i think we're gonna lose all of the steam aren't we yeah it's already condensing again <laughs> oh jeez this is gonna be so stressful well you look at that we actually almost don't have enough power now that the natural gas geysers are dormant so i think we have to enable the hydrogen generators again with our current situation there's actually an interesting pattern here with the carbon dioxide it accumulates here and it's just because of this block eventually i'm gonna have to change this yeah but we probably don't have that wire in here yeah i'm thinking i can remove all of this in the future and so setting up a carbon skimmer here would be beneficial oh never mind natural gas generators are coming back here next dormancy 67 cycles yeah this one just activated knees bed unreachable food now this is so interesting why uh, can't you go out let me see move two you can move here you can move there you could move in Ooh, you cannot move into the base wow that is so curious why isn't she allowed inside the base ah it might have been the finish up schedule thing that actually is causing this because if i wait no she's idling she doesn't know what to do now she's going back okay that is so weird maybe installing this mod wasn't a good idea i have to observe it uh hold the phone did we already survive the next eruption yeah i totally missed the next eruption but it looks like we're still good and the water by now is already 70 degrees not too shabby i'm actually pretty happy with the results of this episode we figured out a pretty compact and nice design that differs from what i previously attempted which is mostly just recycling the items until they have a certain temperature but i believe we can get this down quick enough and then use these four aluminium tiles to cool down the rest to at least 32 degrees or whatever the heck we have going on but yeah with that out of the way i would say we're gonna wrap it up for today's episode thank you so much for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed it have a great time and see you soon bye bye